Will it be a problem? Are we sure? Okay, then after that, we consider the subject of the verb. Subject of the verb. What did I tell you on subject of the verb? When the underline comes before a verb. When the underline comes before a verb. If we have the underline coming before a verb, it must function as the subject of that verb before the word underline. Good example, like if you go to Wayek 1989, when Wayek started, we might have an example like this. Then the readers, the readers frame of mind is equally important. Did I give you a similar example like this? Yeah. Then we underline the reader's frame of what? Mind. The underline came before a verb. Which verb is that? Is. Since we have the underline before a verb, does the underline obey the features of a noun phrase? Yes. Introduced by what? Determiner. Are we then? To tell me more about the noun, readers. The reader's frame of mind. The reader's, sorry. The reader's word, frame of mind. Then at the moment now, introduced by the terminal, what question will he ask me? What is equally important? I will answer it. The reader's frame of word, mind. Then after that now, is there any verb in the underlined? No. Then automatically the underlined I is a noun phrase. Grammatical name, noun phrase. Grammatical name, noun phrase. Then I, I. Then I, I now, what is each word function? Then the function now, the underline came before a verb. The underline came before a verb. Grammatical function, then subject. Then what? Subject of is. If you've written like this, marking scheme says score three marks. But if you write this way, if you write this way, subject. Subject of the verb, of the word. Of the verb is. If you've written it like this, marking scheme says score zero. If you've written it like this, marking scheme says score what? Zero. Why are we going to score zero? Because verb, verb is tautology. It's what? So what are you going to do? You put here inverted comma, open and word, close. So once it is written like this, the marking scheme says give the whole marks. You have your what? Your three marks. But don't come and write this or this. No. If you do that, devil is using you. Just go for one. Really, really what? Go for one. Subject of the verb. Subject of is. Or subject of the verb word is. Then any of them is what is correct. Please, is it going to be a problem? Is it going to be a problem? Are we sure? Okay, take the next one. Object of the verb. Object of the verb. Object of the verb. I guess that's the next, right? Object of the verb. Should I flow? Should I flow? Okay. We'll write. Object of the verb. When there is a verb before the underline. When there is a verb before the underline. When there is a verb before the underline. And the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase. When there is before the underlined and the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase when there is a verb before the underlined and the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase it functions when there is a verb before the underline and the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase are we there it functions as it functions as it functions as object of the verb it functions as object of the verb it functions as well as object of the verb written it functions as object of the verb after the After the underlined, am I correct? It functions as object of the verb after the underlined. Am I correct? What should I say? Correct. Somebody is in the spirit before the underlined. It functions as object of the verb before the 
underlined. Written? Written? Okay. As below. As below. Number one. Number one. Number one is an echo. Number one is Neko. Church Hill. Church Hill. Church Hill. Church Hill showed the collection of toy soldiers. Church Hill showed the collection of toy soldiers. Churchill showed the collection of toy soldiers. Written? Churchill showed the collection, sorry, collection. Churchill showed the collection of toy soldiers. Are we there? Oh, sorry, ma'am. Churchill showed the collection of toy soldiers written okay number two are we number two now are we number two okay number two he pointed he pointed he pointed the big ak-47 fear not okay he pointed the big AK-47 in my face. <laughs> in my face. Where? Waka. <laughs> the, the big AK-47 on the line. The big AK-47 on the line. Are we there? Class, are we there? Okay. Now look up. Look up. I don't want to give more, multiple examples here. Let's master the two we've given. We are looking at objects. We are looking at what? Objects of the verb. Now, when will it function as object, no longer subject? If we have the underlined, if we have the wall, if we have the underlined, if we have the underlined at the back of our verb, that means a verb will come before the underlined. A verb will do what? If there is a verb before the underline, then what happens? The underline will function as object. But if the underline comes before a verb, it is subject. So here now there is a verb. Which verb? Showed. Here now there is a verb. Which verb? Pointed. Does the underline obey the features of a noun phrase? Let's check. Number one, what question will it ask me? Number one, what question will it ask me? What question will number one ask me? Again? A oh, very simple. Church Hill showed what? Church Hill showed what? Then answer it. Are we there? Okay, number two. What question will it ask? Again? I'll give you the example here, right? Church Hill showed what? What's your answer? Okay, ask me the question in number two. Again? Your face or my face? Which one? Thank you, your face. He pointed what in your face? What would be the answer? The big AK-47. Okay, then is there any verb in the underline in number one? Is there any verb in, in the underline in number two? There is no verb, talk more of word, finite word, verb. So the underline, grammatical name. I can, please remember, don't write, don't write in the margin. You just come here and write I. I is word, noun phrase. I is word, noun phrase. The examiner will just write your words, your two marks. Then, I, I. Class, I, I is word, then object. I, I is word, object of? Object of what? Showed. Are we there? All, all, 
you write to what? Object of the one? Of the verb one? Showed. Are you going to leave it this way? What will you do? Inverted comma what? Open and close. So what happened? You are having your three marks. You are having your one? Your three marks. So total you secured your what? Your five marks. Class, will it be a problem? Is it going to be a problem? Okay, we'll write. Take number three. Number three, number three function is what? Number three function will be what? Sorry? Okay, right. Object of a preposition. Object of a preposition. Object of a preposition. Have you refused? Object of a preposition. Should I flow? Okay, we'll write. When a preposition comes before the underlined, when a preposition comes before the underlined, when a preposition comes before the word underlined, and the underlined obeys the features of a noun phrase, when a preposition comes before the underlined, are we there? When a preposition comes before the underline, and the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase, and the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase, it functions as when a preposition comes before the underline, and the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase, it functions as object of the preposition. It functions as object of the preposition. It functions as object of the preposition before the underlined. It functions as object of the preposition before the wall underlined. Are we then? As below. As below. Written? Written? Should I flow now? Okay, number one. They greeted me. They greeted me. They greeted me with a shower of stones. With a shower of stones. A shower of stones underlined. A shower of stones underlined. The number two. They greeted me with a shower of stones. They greeted me with a shower of stones. Written? Written? Number two. He relegated his wife. He relegated his wife. He relegated his wife to the position of a mere housekeeper. To the position of a mere housekeeper. Ladies, what the man did is it is it good? Is it good? No. I know you will support. Relax. I will tell you why he did that. And you need to do more, okay? He really needs to do more. He relegated his wife to the position of a mere housekeeper. Written? Written? Should I flow now? Okay. Now, remaining one function for us to go. Now, we are looking at objects of our preposition. We are looking at what? Object of a preposition. When it comes to object of a preposition, if you look at here now, they greeted me then with a shower of stones. Before the underline, we have a preposition. We have what? A preposition. Preposition such as what? In. Such as what? Such as to. Such as what? Such as on. Such as inside, beside, at, and so on. All these are preposition. What's the function of a preposition in a 
in any sentence, it will govern. It will govern the noun and the object. It will do what? Then governing it in the sense is showing relationship. It's showing what? Then weight. It's showing the relationship between the subject, they, and the object. Are you with me? Okay. So once we have a preposition before the underline, it is no longer object of a verb. It is no longer subject of a verb. It is no longer in apposition. But what? Object of the preposition. Object of the one? There is a preposition with before the underline. There is a preposition to before the word underline. Once a preposition comes before the underline, it becomes what? Object of that preposition. Grammatical name. Does number one obey the features of a noun phrase? Does number one obey the features of a noun phrase? Introduced by what? Introduced by what? Followed by what? Followed by what? Is it modifier? Of course, not just stones. They did not just greet me with stones, but what? Shower of what stone. So the shower there is modifier. Is what? To tell me more about the stone. They did not just throw one, but indeed, it's just like, indeed, you look like Stephen to them, okay? They opened fire. <laughs> okay, so they greeted me with a shower of what? Stones. Then, introduced by the terminal, class, what question will it ask me? What question will it ask me? Again? Okay, answer it. Please, are we there? A shower of what? Stone. Okay, is there any verb in the underlined? Shower can function as a verb, but here is no longer verb. Are you with me? It doesn't function as what? As verb here. Then here now is non group of what? Names. So there is no what? Finance verb. Then there is no. Um, it asks the question, what? And finally, now, indeed, it has already what? Answered the question. Then, grammatical name is noun phrase. Then, I, what will you write? I is what? Noun I becomes what? Noun phrase. Then, I, I is what? Becomes what? Object. Becomes object of with. Object of with. Are you with me? Or, what will you write? What will you write? You write object of the word, of the preposition. Which preposition class? With. Will you leave it this way? Inverted comma word, open and close. If not, you've lost the mark. If not, you've lost the mark. You know it's not how far, but what? How well. Okay. Then back to B. Please, that boy talking, your mouth order is getting here. Shut your mouth so that others can learn. Okay, so back to B's. Back to B's. Um, look at number two. What question will number two ask you? What, what question will number two ask you? He relegated his wife to what? Are you with me? Then answer. Are we there now? Is there any verb in the underline? Is there any verb in the underline in number two? There is no verb at all. Introduced by what? Determiner. To show the presence of a noun position. I told you that indeed, nouns are formed when we add shun. When we add what? Shun. Nouns are formed when we add what? Shun. Nouns are formed when we add what? Shun. Nouns are formed when we have what? Hood. Nouns are formed when we have what? Ness. If I have good as an adjective, I can form a noun to have what? Goodness. Are we there? Then in hood, I can have neighborhood, I can have manhood, I can have sisterhood, and so on. Brotherhood. Then I'm forming now. Shun, shun, shun. Passion. Mansion. Then just position. From post, we can have word position. So position is a noun because determiner shows the presence of word a noun. So introduced by determiner to show the presence of a noun, position. Then it will ask question, he relegated his wife to what? The position of a male housekeeper. Will it be a problem? Is it going to be a problem? Grammatical name, noun phrase. Grammatical function, which is I, I. I, I becomes what? Object of what? To. Or object of the preposition word to. Once you've done this, you pick your mark, you are going. Once you've done this, you pick your mark, you are going. Let me give you Wayek. Okay, after the last one, I'll give you Wayek 2024. 
I'll give you YEC 2024. You tell me the grammatical name it is. That was YEC 2024. YEC 2024 is not up to three months old, right? So you guys will be the one to answer it. Give me the grammatical name. You quickly give me the word, the function. Okay, then take the last function. The last function is what? Complement. Complement is NECO scheme. It's what? NECO scheme. But GCE will ask it in YEC GCE. But once YEC, YEC, normal YEC, May, June will not ask it. May, June will not ask it. But NECO must do what? Ask it. NECO will go extra mile because NECO will try to make the equation to be a bit advanced and difficult. So, complement of the verb is NECO. The reason why I will not ask it is because it's almost the same with object of the verb. It's almost the same with what? Object of the verb. Class, are we ready? Okay, take complement. Complement of the verb. Complement of the verb. Are we in complement now? Okay. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, are we there? When any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, are we there? Are we there? Okay. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, written, written, when any of these, please, if I see any phone noun, I will smash it. If I see any phone, I will smash it. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, 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 when any of these five auxiliary verbs smashed, don't show. <laughs> when any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, if you show them, I will kill you. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, boys will be too too, because it's a disgrace to fatherhood. When, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, jump have asked to spell auxiliary several times. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, When any of these five auxiliary verbs, when any of these five auxiliary verbs, Williams, where is he? Williams, where is that boy? Oh, Williams, we are, we are now enemies because of auxiliary. Williams, where are you? I saw this boy this morning. Williams. <laughs> Willie, Willie. <laughs> oh, auxiliary, Williams, you are not calm. Don't worry, I'm coming. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, the rest, don't bother yourself. It's only the front seat, okay? It's only, but if you smile too much, I'm coming to you. Okay. Um, auxiliary, Jamba have asked her to spell. Even screening. Auxiliary, only two people. Then imagine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Only two. Assuming it's UNN, only two will get admission. Okay. <laughs> of course. Because that's your seven marks you just messed up with. That's your seven marks. Then auxiliary. Very simple. Oxy. I take one girl. She started with redox reaction. Oxy. Oxy. Hmm? Oxy. As well. When any of these five auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary starts with A-U-X-I. Oxy. L-L. Oxy. Larry. How many of you got it correct? My God, my God will judge. All of you raising your hand now. My God will judge you. My God will judge all of you. My God will judge all of you. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, 
Auxiliary, very simple. You just omitted one thing. Auxiliary. Please, how many of you got it correct? My God will judge all of you. This is still incorrect. One sister said, which one is not correct? When any of these option A, B, C, then let me use C as our sister. Let me not point out. Oxy, Oxy, Leary. Then D. When any of the five auxiliary verbs, very simple, Oxy, please, one L, I A R Y. How many of you got it correct? My God will still judge all of you over there. Please, English is never your mate. Then, auxiliary, please, the last one, this is not the correct one. The mistake you made was very simple. Then, auxi, then is one L, are you with me? Then, but the A will live. Sorry, the what? The I will live. Please, how many of you got it correct? Go will judge this answer. Oh, okay. Imagine A, B, C, D, E. The correct answer is not yet there. Um, um, e? Okay. A, B, C, D, E. E? D. Can, can you shut that mouth? Can you shut it? Have you shut the mouth? Okay. If you know that your own spelling is on the board, put up your hand. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> if you know your own spelling is on the board, put up your hand. Okay, thank you. If you know your own spelling is not yet on the board, put up your hand. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> Please. Auxiliary. A U X I L I A R Y. Is he among any of these spellings? Option word. D. D is correct. That guy saying, uh, hey, shut up. You failed it before. You really failed it. Please, auxiliary, note it. Auxiliary, then I, then L I. Note L I, but one L, not double word L. Auxiliary. Please, are we there? You got it correct before. Where is the other person I jumped? Oh, you got it correct? Okay. All right. Then, those um, others, you know that this is what you spelled before. Don't lie. Put up your hand. This is what you... <laughs> Even one girl, her neighbor is drawing her hand. Shut up. <laughs> it's wrong. Uh, it's wrong. Uh. So, please, auxiliary is this, okay? If you open UNN past question, is there. Jump past question. But UNN, this is seven marks. Imagine those of you that really failed before. You lost seven. So, that's why when you fail... I'm not beating you because you failed, but for you to know that this is seven marks you are risking. UNN screening, now they'll give them three spellings. That's their 21 marks. They'll give them three ways to spell. That's 21 marks. In 2008, then repeated in 2012, they asked them to spell maneuver. Maneuver. Although we are not into spelling, but let me just be fast. We'll still come back. Okay, let's go. When any of these what? When any of these five auxiliary verbs... When any of these five auxiliary verbs, are we then? Is. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, is, comma, am, comma, was, comma, are, comma, where. When any of these five auxiliary verbs, is, am, was, are, where. Is, am, was, where. Was, are, where. Written. Written, okay, comes before the underlined. Comes before the underlined. When any of these five auxiliary verbs comes before the underlined, or a linking verb, or a linking verb, or what? 
a linking verb written or a linking verb such as seem, appear, remain, such as seem, appear, remain, look, such as seem, appear, remain, look, or a linking verb such as seem, appear, remain, look, comes before the underlined, comes before the word, underlined, comes before the word, underlined. Class, are we there? Are we there, class? It functions. It functions as, it functions as, it functions as complement. It functions as complement. It functions as well. Complement of any of those verbs. It functions as complement of any of those verbs. It functions as well. Complement of what? Any of those verbs. Written as below. As below. Number one, she, she remains, she remains my best friend. She remains my best friend. Then my best friend underlined. She remains my best friend. My best friend underlined. Number two, Number two, precious. Is she here? Precious is the demon. <laughs> precious is the demon. Okay, I should write down. Thank you. That's our best friend. Precious is the demon eating flesh. Precious is the demon eating flesh. You underline? The demon eating flesh. Are we there? Are we there? Number what? Number three. They seem. They seem good and nice people. You underline good and nice people. Number four. He appears. He appears so intimidating. So intimidating, underlined. So intimidating, underlined. Number five. He is the king of the jungle. The king of the jungle, underlined. The king of the jungle underlined. Written? Written? Yeah. Okay. Now, pay attention because of Neko and UI. For some of you that write to University of Ibadan, they often ask questions here more. They prefer this. Now, if you look at this now, it's almost the same. It's almost the same. Give me any example I gave you under subject of the verb. Sorry, under object of the verb. Sorry? God forbid. See your life. See your life. Hmm? Give me any example I gave you on the object of the verb. Okay. He showed the collection. The what? Collection of of what? Toy soldier. What do we underline? The collection of what? Toy soldier. Give me another example. Okay. He pointed. He pointed the big one. The big AK-47. Where? 
in my, my God will judge you, <laughs> in my face. Are we there? All right. Okay, now look up. There is no difference between he pointed the big AK-47 in my face. We, he appears so intimidating. They seem good and nice people. She remains my best friend. Is there any difference? No. Emily, before the underline, remains is a verb. True or false? Before the underline, pointed is a verb. Before the underline, should is a verb. True or false? Before the underline, appears is a verb. True or false? So because of that, that's the reason. That's the reason why Yek will not give you compliment of the verb. Because compliment is almost the same. With. With object of the verb. So, Wayek will skip it under their scheme. But Neko will try. But when Neko will try, what Neko will do? Neko will not test you with linking verbs. With what? What Neko will test you is auxiliary verbs. Is what? Neko will decide to test you under auxiliary. Under what? Auxiliary verbs. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? How will you know the auxiliary verbs? They are very simple. Is, am. Past tense of is is what? Past tense of are is what? Past tense of am is what? I'm here. I'm here. No. You lied. What of yesterday? I was here yesterday as well. I was here. But I am here now. Are you with me? Class, are we there? Okay. So that is it. Then, what is linking verb? Linking verb functions as conjunction. Functions as one. If I clean this appears, I can put another conjunction and. If I clean this remains, I can put and here. True or false? I can say she and my best friend. She and my best friend. So you don't see that the verb I will put here can still function as a word, as a conjunction. So that's why we call it word linking verb. It will link the subject, so the word, object. So I can still remove the conjunction and and put a verb. What was there before? What was there? Yeah. Then remain. Then remains is a verb. But what type of verb is it? It's a linking verb. It links the subject to the word, object. So when a linking verb is given, when a linking verb is given, and the linking verb comes before the underline, and the underline obeys the features of a noun phrase, automatically it is complement of that verb. It is what? Complement of that verb. Wayek will not ask, but Neko will go deeper. You, I, must ask you. Because you, I, will give you 100 questions in each subject. And they will try to touch various areas of English language and order. So, there is it here. Let's see whether it obeys the features of a noun phrase. Introduced by what, class? Introduced by what? Some of you are calm. I don't know. Are you hungry? Huh? If you are hungry, you don't have future. You should be hungry after the class, okay? Your future is more important than the hunger. Introduced by what? Huh? Mine is what? Huh? This one functions as determiner. This one is modifier. Not just my friend, but what? Best friend. What question will it ask you? Again? She remains what? What will be your answer? What will be your answer? Please, are you with me? Are you, with, you came late, so don't do like this. I'm not seeing your face. So that next time you won't be late. Okay, so at the moment now, she remains what? My best friend. Is there any verb in the underlined? Is there any verb in the underlined? There is no verb. Automatically, the underlined obeys the features of a noun phrase. I, grammatical name, noun phrase. I, I, what is its function? Complement of remains. Complement of what? Remains. Precious is the demon eating flesh. What will be the question? Precious is what? What will be your answer? The demon eating what? Flesh. Okay. Is there any verb in the underlined? Is there any verb in the underlined? Then, but is it finite verb? No. It's non-finite word verb. Okay, so it will ask me the question, precious is what? The demon eating flesh. Okay, then grammatical name, introduced by determiner, 
followed by what? Modifier. Or oh, sorry, introduced by the terminal to show me the presence of a noun, demon. So grammatical name, noun phrase, grammatical function, then complement of what? Is. Complement of what? Is. They seem good and nice people. What question will it ask you? They seem what? What will be your answer? Good and nice people. Is there any verb in the underline? No verb at all. There is no verb at all in the underline. So grammatical name, noun phrase, grammatical function, complement of what? Same. Complement of same. Number three, uh, he. What was here before? So we got appears here. He appears so intimidating. What would be the question, class? He appears what? Answer? So intimidating. Grammatical name, noun phrase, function, complement of what? Appears. He is the king of the jungle. He is the king of the jungle. Grammatical name is what, class? Function. Complement of what is. Class, is it going to be a problem? So the only thing remaining for you now is to master the whole features of a noun phrase. If you've mastered that, then it will never be a problem. I will use the past question now to ask some question. Based on all the years, Wayek have asked us questions on noun phrase ranging from, two th ranging from 19, 1999, then 1998, then 2000, then 2003, then 2004, then 2007, then 2009, then 2016. And after 2016, they paused. After 2016, they paused. Another year we, we expected the phrase was 2024. If you check from 2016, please, that side is noisy. That side is noisy. If you check from 2016 to 2024, how many years? How many years gap? Almost eight years gap. After seven years, the eighth year, they are now at. And if you watch other years, they asked here, yeah, come, that side is noisy. I won't warn you. If I get close, I'll slap the hell. If you don't have future outside, okay? If you watch here now, from 90, immediately after 98, they repeated it immediately, right? They repeated. So one, two, three was back to back, back to back, back to back. Then from here, they started jumping. Immediately after three years, they asked. Then after two years, after two years, after two years. Why you have pattern? Here, one, two, three. 1998, 99, 2000. So they were asking back to back. But the first time they asked was... 19, Wayek started 1988. So 1989, 1989, Wayek asked. That was the first time they asked us what noun phrase. So if you now check now, after 1998, 99, 93, they asked three consecutive years. That was back to back. Then 2000. So one, two, three. Immediately after 2000, they did not ask two, one, two, two. They jumped two years. And asked in 2003. After 2 3, 2 4, 2 5, another two years. After 2 5, 2 7, another two years. After 2 7, then 2 9, another two years. After 2 9, 2 16, how many years did they jump? How many years? From 2 9 to 2 16, how many years? Is it seven years? Okay. Then 2 16 to this, how many years? Almost eight. So what would they do? They will not follow this pattern or follow two two years. What would they do? They will follow either to ask it 2025 or they may drop 25 and ask in 2026. So what is not left for you is this. If they will jump in 2025, then when they jumped here, what did they ask? Did they see maintain phrase or did they go to close? This is how a serious student is reason. So that you can hold Wayek at the right hand. So that as we are entering the hall, you can predict out of, if, if you're going to answer, let's assume now your physics, that you're going to answer maybe number 1 to 10, maybe compulsory, then um, 11 to probably 15, you now select an answer. So that you can predict, out of 1 to 10, you can predict seven questions. 
And when you enter the hall, what, your predictions are correct. As others are busy thinking of what to write, you yourself now, you've already marked the ones you will answer and you've started. So that I don't come here. I'm trying to rack my brain. You don't crack it. If you crack your brain, it's going to break. I'm trying to rack my brain. You rack. You don't crack. You rack. I'm trying to rack my brain. You're busy disturbing with your mouth order. Do you know why? You don't even know where you are. You don't have vi um, your vision is not written on a paper. Because assuming you have future, as you are coming here, you are coming with past question. I called the years. She was busy checking the years. And you, you are keeping a girl busy. Oh, boom. These are plans, evidence that you don't even know where you are going. Or you think for me to quote all this, and when you go back to past question, you're quoting it exactly. You think that that was what I did last night? No. All these things I'm doing with you was when I was preparing for GCE. I don't read again. What I do is research. If 2024 Wayek is over, I will spend six hours trying to check the questions they ask and predict what they can ask in 2025. So that by 2025, if I'm still opportune by God's grace to handle another set, if I'm doing it the way I'm doing with you now, I failed. Because I'm living in my past glory. So when you are here, you mellow down and read. Don't come here and do big girl or big boy. You are still empty. That's why you're making noise, because empty vessel makes a whole lot of noise. If you know where you're going, nobody will talk to you. Upon you fed auxiliary, you're still disturbing. You fed auxiliary. So please, be wise when you are really here. Because if you go back to your various school, they will peck you. They will pamper you, and at the end, after your wayek, what we can see in you is pampas. That's the bitter truth. So they say that your jump score cannot buy Pepsi. <laughs> your jump score can't buy Pepsi. And you are happy. So please, if you are here, mellow down. Really, really what? Mellow down. So that we can flow. We can easily what? Flow. All right. So the only thing I'm owing you on noun phrase now is questions. So I'll give random questions now. After giving the random questions now, if time permits us, we'll give answers. If time don't permit, we'll answer a few. Then my next class now, now clause is almost the same. So that was why she was a bit confused. Supported the noun phrase that the guy said and later came back and discovered the finite verb. So when no clause is given, it's almost the same. But when adjective clause is not given, it will confuse you with what? Noun clause and noun phrase as well. So if that will permit us, because I believe for a safe federal schools, your holiday will end up probably next week, right? By night, next two weeks, you are going back to schools. Then a safe federal that will open either 28 or 20 something, right? Federal, when are you guys opening? Fedra, when will you guys open? Yeah. Okay, borders. Eight. Okay, that means... <laughs> one girl, one girl wants to leave house. She's shouting seven, seven. Sister, you will leave, okay? <laughs> okay. So, I was even thinking that Fedra going to open late. Oh, okay. But, Fedra, what did you guys... Did you guys close exactly the same time with state? No. So, why are they rushing your people? Chai, it's wrong. Okay, so that means... Um, sorry, I wasn't there last week. Assuming would have finished the uh, noun phrase. Please, any topic I'm trying to treat with you guys, I'm trying to go jump and YX standard. I'm trying. So that indeed, nothing on earth, if you open questions, you will not just tell us that the answer is noun phrase, but you are giving reasons. So that's why I'll make sure that no stone is left what untouched. Because I keep telling students, and that's the bitter truth, Please, that back is noisy. The seven out of the nine subjects you write in Wayek, out of the nine subjects, assuming you are to write Wayek on your own, out of the nine subjects, indeed, you are expected to pass only five. If you are done with the nine subjects in Wayek, you will not come back and write jump, and you are now writing only four. Now, that four subjects you will not write, you select the four that is your strength. 
if calculation is your problem, physics, further mass, chemistry, you can now go to art. If indeed you already have passion for the art, you still remain in the art. But if calculation is not really your problem, you can now go to sciences. Then you now select your four. If indeed you can speak in tongues in terms of mathematics, you go for engineering and environmental courses. If indeed you have passion for health and human body, you now go for medical and paramedical courses. Now, if indeed you really love the pure art, then you can now maybe go for the pure art. If you love management sciences, you can now go for commercial art. You select only four. Out of these four, English is already compulsory for everybody. Then outside the English, you now select the remaining three. If you are going for engineering, mathematics is now compulsory. Then if you are going for medical, biology is now what compulsory for you. Then medical students, you drop mathematics. Engineering students, you drop what biology. Then pure arts, then you now drop what commercial subjects. You pick literature as your main. Commercial art, economics, and any other one. But math must be there. Then after this, don't be this. Don't be expected, you have already expected you to do what's called 300 and above. That is what jump is expected. At the moment now, they have seen that indeed you cannot score up to 300. But you've already selected a subject or a course that 300 really ought to fetch you. What would jump do? Jump will now give you admission in other field. Please pay attention so that I don't make mistake. Jump will now do what? Give you admission in other world field. As you know, there's somebody here, you decided to be a pharmacist, a medical doctor, or a nurse. Jumbo already know that for you to become a pharmacist, you ought to score 280 and above. But Jumbo know that we are not the only pharmacists they, they will give admission. That there are still millions of Nigerians that really want to become what? Pharmacists. Then, out of that millions, thousands will score 300. Another thousands will score 300 plus. Then half, thousand, half a thousand will score what? 250 to 290. Then for them to give admission, they will consider from 300 and above. Then after that, now they will still consider 300 plus. They will now consider 300 and finally consider what? Maybe 285, which is that cutoff mark, so 299. But the ones from that 285 to 299 may be out of only 3% out of 100. So that the ones with higher score, must be what giving admission. Then what would Jam do? He already made what fancy first choice. Then Jambu said, okay, then we'll still give you a course related to what to fancy. Then start with agronomy, start with botany, start with microbiology. So that the ones with this higher score will start first. Then if you don't like it, you can write another jump. She made Maxin her first choice. She scored 306. But people that smashed 350, 360, 340 were much. And the big mistake you guys keep making is this. If you check your family well, try to help them. So that your parents will not die before you. Because some of you, you're going to give them much pressure that indeed they can't carry. Because if you force your parents now, they'll put you in a private university. And they are spending millions every year. Um, go for a career university, my surge now is 2.2 million. And imagine now six years, pay attention and learn. Imagine six good years now, your parents have been paying 2.2, let's just say 2, 2 mil. Apart from these 2 mil, then your feeding and every other thing, the money will still come. But assuming now, you are wise, you secure admission in private, uh, sorry, in state or federal university. You made it to UNN. UNN, main surge, school fees is 77,000. Because what kills some of you is that you don't have sense. And when you are here, your mouth order is disturbing us. If you make it to UNN, UNIZIC now, main surge, your school fees is 77,000. Second semester, you come down to 64,000. Then the higher you go, the lower the school fees. Before you graduate, 500 and 600 level, you are paying 20 something thousand. Highest you will pay is 13. If school fees is high, highest you will pay is what? 13. No. If indeed the only time you're going to pay higher is your year one. For medical students, there's what we call community levy. 
then you pay it once in a lifetime till you graduate. That's why maybe UNN indigenous in Enugu State, they pay 250, non indigenous pay 300. If you get admission to study law, the same thing. A suit, indigenous 200, non indigenous 250. That's the only time indeed you're year one in UNN or UNISIC or otherwise. Your school fees might mount up to, as a medical student, might reach up to 400 to 500. Then, from 200 level now, you are paying 70 something, 60 something, 40 something, highest 30 something, you graduate. Then, other time you now spend more is your clearance you're about to save. Then, after this, now, what happened? You now see that. If indeed you're coming from an average home, let me not use the word poor. If your parents stop paying your school fees after year one, you can still work and finish school. True or false? But assuming now your parents put you in private university, where school fees is two mil, 1.8, 1.5. And because nothing in life is permanent, we don't pray for that. Maybe something happened. Mom or dad's business maybe have issue. And the family is now struggling to survive, live on two square meal, no longer three. Even when you try to work, my sister, there's no way you, you can work and still make millions to pay school fees. Is it possible? No. Accept God factor. Accept what? God word factor. So, but for you to make it in those federal universities, your job score must be 300 plus. If you are failing, you are failing with 290, 280. But without 280, it's not guaranteed. Except your father knows somebody that knows somebody that knows another person. These are bitter truth that people will hide from you. These are really the bitter truth that people will do what? Hide from you. So that when you are here, know where you are going. So that you can't stay with a boy or a girl who suddenly already made. And the boy is cracking joke, disturbing. And you yourself now, you are part of it. This boy is praying to enter school. Your own is praying to be a medical doctor. His prayer point, he wants to leave house and enter school. But your own, you've already seen your admission, but your prayer point is what? Medicine, fancy, nothing. And you are busy following a guy that his prayer point is, even though he's IMT, that he's happy. You will follow the guy for one year, two years, and at the end, you will make it to your dream school and your dream courses. So what will you do? You change friends. So that you be with people that indeed what happened, as it so is here, they themselves have already crossed over. You go back to your various school now, as it is trying to, you've already read the topic three or four times. Please, that's why you are here. So that you don't change the mission. Because once you've already made up your mind to embark on any journey, principalities and powers must come after you. This is another spiritual aspect of life. If you've made up your mind that you want to be a medical doctor, you must study four hours, five hours, three to four, five to six. Then four, six must fight it until you persist. A lot of forces, they can even use your parents. Your mother will start telling you that you read too much in this house. That, that your book is becoming too much. They might even use well, maybe a close friend. <laughs> Almost see you. You want to study medicine. Six years. Hmm. Is it not better we go for four years and enjoy ourselves? The listen, devil is using somebody to talk to you. <laughs> then before you know it, now you start paying attention. You want to go for fancy? Huh. Five years? Huh. No. Hmm. It's better we go for what? Maybe made love or otherwise. My sister, don't pay attention to that demon. Because demon is using human to talk to you. So please, what am I saying? Know why you are here. So that we won't be racking our brain here. We are busy talking. Becoming a local champion. Because no matter how I'm going to teach you, and you guys clap for me, I'm never moved. Why? He only rejoice when champions are the ones clapping for you. If you are taking over all fairs in your schools, and they will call you, your classmates are clapping, the whole schools are clapping. Never rejoice. Never celebrate. Until the whole world, the whole federation announce you. You are now on tele. You've already set that record. If people are not clapping for you, then you can now rejoice. You can now what? Rejoice. Not because maybe after the end, overall face, overall best in physics, you are rejoicing. Because the person you are competing with is a local champion. There how many times have you participated 
in Cowbell, Olympia, and otherwise. Scientific quiz and otherwise. And you measure as number one the whole of Nigeria. I'm not talking of Enugu. If the whole federation can now announce you, your name is on the newspaper, your name is on telly, then my sister, you've arrived. You've really, really what arrived. So this, has, this should be your challenge. And if you've not gotten to that level, you go and lock yourself inside and read. That's why imagine Cristiano Ronaldo at this age, 39, almost. He's still trained as if he's still 17. He still persists trying to make it towards 1,000 career goals. He still denies himself of alcohol, burger, and other worst stuff so that he won't get fat or he won't lose form. Upon all the money. Imagine Ronaldo upon the whole millions and otherwise. Then what happened? His son is denied of what? Smartphone. But assuming it's Davido's son, the boy won't have smartphone. He will have different iPads, different drivers, and what have you. Upon Ronaldo's money and everything, he still denied his son a whole lot. And he told him that I won't choose your career. If it is football, work for it. So you yourself, what have you denied yourself? What have you really denied yourself? See, you know, I keep telling you, church is causing more harm than good to us. Because very soon now, if your wire can jump is closed, that's the only time you fast and pray. Asking God to smash your wire and otherwise. That prayers will never cross heaven. You know why? Because for God to hear you, then you really have to hold God captive. That on this, on this ground, I'm holding you, that indeed you must grant my prayer request. Because when Daniel prayed, his prayers were, were not answered. What did Daniel do? If you remember the covenant that was what? Initiated and activated by who? Solomon. What was the covenant? When Solomon built the temple, he told God that I'm building this so that no matter where anyone is, once he pray and look unto what? This temple. Then his or her prayers must be answered. So when Daniel's prayer, even when Daniel was locked, Indeed, they will be killed. What happened? He started praying, looking unto the temple. On that ground, that was when God answered him. When Hannah prayed, she discovered that her prayer point was useless. Because her prayer point first was because she really wanted to have a child to prove to other women that her womb is still fertile. When she was praying, God ignored her. Until when she changed her prayer point. Give me a son that will serve you. That I will dedicate to you. On that ground, God answered. So which ground will God answer you? You come here, you disturb me with your mouth order. My own prayer point, you will fail. So that when you are here, you did the right thing. Can you cry unto God and tell him that you prayed, you, you read uh, six and um, four hours every night, that on this ground, I must smash jam. Are you just praying because you started reading because jam is next year? Mumu? So if you like, don't go and help yourself. Keep wasting it until the ones learning handwork. They will still learn it. When they are done, they will perfect. They will still come to jump class and they will be very serious. And they will still score higher than you. Those ones learning handwork now, they will later now, next year, they will still come back to jump class and they will still score higher than you. And at the end, they will be in school, they will have a handwork, they will combine both they, what they have learned, and combine it with education, they prosper higher than you. So please, know what you really want. So that I won't be here and I'm, I'm trying to want somebody. Keep calm. That place is noisy. And you think that indeed you're a big girl, you're a big boy, with empty brain, with no value. So please, very important. If you watch now, I finished noun phrase. It's already in your note, but your brain, what you grab is only 40, 45%. Go and make it 80 to 85. If you, if you can do that now, then it will serve as already what a leverage to understanding other grammatical names. But if you don't do that, after two, three weeks, you will forget. It's a must. After two, three weeks, everything we've done, you must forget. It's a must. It's really a must. 
Did Deeper Life girl last jump when she was asked, what's your secret of making 360? Was it 360 or 366? 316, she said two secrets. One, she prays often. Two, she reads six hours every night. She prays often. She reads six hours every night. I think it's easy for her to do what? To do that. Because it's only when you start praying, God begins to reveal a lot of, a whole lot of stuff. Then if you start praying, now God can give you a dream. In that dream now, you are busy reading electricity. Why in your dream? You, um, you see yourself in a where they are busy teaching what? Optics and light. What's God trying to tell you? Then more questions will come on optics and light. Go and read more. So that, and if you now watch, both school and lesson, nobody have touched that topic. Then God now what? Reveal it. Then invest your own time. And maybe on your jam day, six questions came from optics and light. Only two questions came from electricity. So you now see God have already made it easier for you. But the other one that was busy reading, what happened? There was no direction. So please, bring God factor into your education. And God will help you to do what? Discipline you and direct you in the right path. That's my candid word, advice. Don't come here and make album. All these things you guys are writing is album. Any day I will teach you with textbook, I will, I will stop teaching. What I'm doing with you is a hobby. I was meant to be somewhere, but I really have to change the time so that I'll go, maybe go to work by 1.30. I won't say, okay, let me go and get lesson notes so that we'll copy. I won't say, okay, let me revise so that we'll do what we'll teach. What I'm doing with you guys is a hobby. Everything written here now is already here. The soft copy is here. I will now bring it out as what? As hard copy. The same thing you can do in physics, chemistry, biology, literature, and what have you. So if you are here busy making album, as this girl is going now, when my start, she's trying to do what? Maybe pack her books or otherwise, then she might misplace this. She might give these notes to her. Then probably that she told her she'll bring it when, on Thursday. Thursday, she might travel to the village with her mom. Then next week, she won't be here. She have lost the note. Everything she has been doing throughout August break is over. But assuming she has been reading, 80% of this will be here. So are you coming here to make album? Are you coming here to have the soft copies? So please, very important. So that some of you will not just come here and relax. If you relax, it won't help you. And remember, people will never share their weakness. They will never share their failures with you. Those of them that smash high in jam, if you ask them, they will never tell you what they really encountered. Some of them may not even tell you that they have written jam to wise. Why? Because that side is very ugly. The scars, the pains are still there. If you ask Flavor now, how come? How did you make it? Flavor will never tell you that he once served in a church. He was once a nobody. If you ask Davido, Davido will never tell you that he was once a boy to some of the celebrities. They even like to hide those pictures. So please, that is it. Read. Read. So that you won't be here making the wrong notes. So that you won't be here making albums. So that you won't be here forming big boy for a girl that her marriage is next three years. <laughs> One girl is laughing already. So that you won't be here as a guy instead of you to invest in your future. You are busy following one girl that will let her invite you for her wedding. <laughs> this one shock you, bang. So please, very important. Very, very what? Important. Bring in God factor and read. Bring in God factor and read. Any day you bring in God factor, reading will be the easiest thing. It has been very hard because God is far from you. It happened in one jam. What happened? I entered to teach. Then what happened? Before you know it now, they tell me the topic to teach. Um, I supposed to. You guys supposed to be with the nursing. I was really the one that said no, that indeed we really have to enter YEC topics. I don't know why it's so, but indeed, before your YEC, you will see the reason. Before or after your YEC, you will see the reason. So if you are just busy reading, sister, you are going nowhere. But when you bring in God, 
it will be very easy. As easy as. As easy as. And if you take it now in your school, it's not usually the overall base. First, first term, second term, and at the end of Wayek, they are not usually the one that will be maybe eight A's or nine A's. At the end of Jam, they are not usually the one with highest score. Because the overall best in various schools are reading the teacher's notes. But the ones that are reading for Jam and Waye are busy. Notes, textbooks, and past questions. So when external exams come, the one that have made his life on past questions, textbooks, and notes will score higher. Because teacher's notes will limit you. It will definitely what limit you. So as you're going back, go back with your right textbooks, your past questions, and read. That bonbon, bon, suffocate it. Sit it down. Suffer it. Really, really what? Suffer it. It's very important. And no, you are not competing with your classmate. You are competing with yourself. You are trying to conquer the old you and bring the new you. Because if this one starts reading that she wants to take over her best from this one, that's the worst mistake she made that day. Because they are never mates. So please, very, very what important. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Then after that, I'll ask questions based on noun phrase. I'm done with noun phrase. I'm really done with what noun phrase. So the only thing remaining is for you to do what read up. And don't feel shy to ask questions in class, both lesson and your schools. Any day you start feeling shy, just know that devil is using you. The devil is trying to hide you, keep you away from your future. A minute, ask questions before I will not give questions from past questions now. Ask your questions. Is question time blessing time? Ask your questions before I will ask. I'm bringing my own questions out. Okay, feel free. Try. Okay, so one girl question, okay? So listen to her. Okay, ma'am, ask. This number three. Use it, ma'am. This number three. Use the mic. This number three. Get it closer, ma'am. Get the mic closer. Or you give your neighbor to hope for you. You are not celeb. Ma'am, hold it for her, okay? Hold it. She's not celeb. <laughs> okay, ask. This number, this number two, precious. Is number two, demon. okay. Precious is the demon eating. Can you hear her? Sister Biodebo, ma'am. I'm asking the question, I'm not asking them. The question is general because uh, if I start explaining, I'm explaining to all, not you. This number two, precious is the demon eating flesh. Okay, precious is the demon eating flesh. What happened? the grammatical function grammatical function is complement of the verb or object of the verb okay how will you know it's complement or object i've made it easier precious is the demon eating flesh neko will ask you why will neko ask you because before pre before the underline i have is right and is is auxiliary is what auxiliary. auxiliary so when auxiliary verb comes in object of the verb it must be main verb it must be what Okay, when auxiliary verb comes, it is complement. It is what? And remember that complement must be this complement. If you write li, marking seems says score zero. I told you guys before, right? Okay, so it becomes complement of the verb. Auxiliary verb came before the underline. But here now, main verb came. But the main verb is a linking verb. It's a what? Okay, he and so intimidating. He but so intimidating. I can remove this and put but. I can remove this and put what? But. He, but so intimidating. But and all these are conjunction. They are what? Conjunction. So when I'm no longer using conjunction, but I'm using a verb. I'm using a verb that can still what? Link. That can still link. It is a linking verb. And as a result, it is what? Complement of the verb. So because of this confusion, Wayek will not ask you. Are you with me? I said by 2026, the whole syllables will change. Ministry of Education will bring in new syllables. They will maintain the old ones and add something new or remove something in the old ones. 
So that is it. But for now, why could never ask you a compliment except Neko? Are you cleared now? Okay. Please, further questions? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm coming to both. Check what I Okay, go on. Does um, noun phrase and noun clause has the same fun grammatical function? Does noun phrase and noun clause, do they have the same grammatical function? Yes. Noun phrase and noun clause will perform five basic functions. The whole functions I'm giving you in noun phrase are the functions I will still give you in noun clause. So the only one that will change is adjective clause. Adjective will have only one function. Noun phrase, noun clause will have five functions each. Okay, so your question is answered. Okay, ma'am. Okay, give her. Uncle, you said non finite verb does not have subject and action. Yeah. In number two, precious is the demon eating flesh. You said eating is not an action. It's a verb. It's a verb, but non finite. Non finite. And yeah. you said non finite does not have subject. Yeah. That the demon is not a subject. Okay. Precious is. Okay. Assuming the, the subject here is precious. Give her, give her the mic. The, sub, the subject here is what? Precious. Are you with me? Yes. Precious is the demon eating flesh. Assuming the underlined is from here. From here now. Are you with me? Then eating now becomes a finite verb. Because the subject of this sentence is precious, not the demon. Sister, are you with me? The subject of this sentence now is precious. So if you have to divide this into subject and predicate, then precious is the subject. Are you with me? Then from here now is the predicate. So if the underline starts from the demon eating flesh, then from here now is just a name. It's just what? A name. Do you understand now? Okay. I don't like I don't like saying that the devil, the devil crying child, is just a name. The Lucifer in her, the Lucifer in her, is is not a finite verb. Do you understand? Okay. Give to the other girl, ma'am. Just push it over there. Push, push. Okay. Next question now. So please, my question is based on these linking verbs. Are okay. they used alone in noun phrases? In noun phrases? Mm. Or mainly noun phrases. But we can still use it in other phrases, such as gerund and otherwise. But we are not in those ones now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. OK. Ask your question. OK, sister, ask your question. Assuming GCE. Biodebon. Assuming in GCE. Okay. Number two, he pointed the big AK-47 in my face. He pointed the big AK-47 in my face. Okay. Will you call it a compliment of a verb? Okay. Will you call it compliment? Assuming is what? GCE. Okay. We have a verb before the underline. That verb is main verb. Are you with me? Pointed, right? Okay. It's object. Object of the verb. Don't go for compliment. Compliment examining body, I told you earlier. Examining body will use auxiliary verbs. Under compliment, they prefer using auxiliary verbs. They will not touch the linking. We are moving advanced because of, uh, because of our jump. Do you understand? OK. Unc, what if in a question, they gave two verbs in the sentence, and it's auxiliary and main verb. So assuming is um, the word, the, sent, the phrase serves as the object of the verb. Will you put the main verb or the auxiliary verb? Okay. Uh, before any question is given, that question will be properly scrutinized. Are you with me? Wayek will employ somebody now. Uh, your work there, you are just busy collecting questions. Another person will employ another professor. Wayek will employ up to 20 different professors in English. Their work is to search questions. And still employ another 10 professors in English. Their work is to check what the other professors have said. So they will make sure that indeed there is no mistake. The only time mistake can come in is in the past question. They are trying to do what? To type. 
they might meet, uh, miss one word or the other. Or the underline, they may not underline word properly. And what the professors will do, if this is the first professor, the way you have set question in 2015 will never be the same. He will continue in 2024. His questions in 2015 might be a bit cheap. 2024, he's trying to advance it. That's why if you look at Jam last year, they won physics. They sweated. The sweat was really much. Because the question was more of application. They did not give them much calculation, but what? Application. So the question must be properly what said. So how will you know it is correct? When you now check the identification, the identification now must obey those three or four rules I gave you. But if in the question now we have um, helping verb and main verb, are you with me? Then automatically, indeed, and both of them are all underlined. Then the main verb have already superseded the word the helping. So if, if it is before, the verb came before the underline object. The underline came before it becomes subject. I guess it's clear. Okay, any other question? They are giving me sign before I say goodbye, Charlie boy. Okay, two last questions. Why is this number two? Precious is the demon eating flesh, not precious is the flesh eating demon. <laughs> okay, precious is the flesh eating demon. Flesh, does flesh eat demon or demon eat flesh? Use the mic. Like, the f like flesh eating demon. Like, <laughs> like grass eating. Like okay, um, which, whichever way is still correct. In the sense, trying to make demon this or trying to make flesh this. Do you understand? Whichever way is still what is still correct. Okay, any other question? Uh, okay, give in. What if the word remains can be used as a noun, as in her remains were cremated last week? Can be used as well? A noun. A noun? As in someone has died. They okay, remains. remains. The remains. Yes. Okay. Um, if you look, it, it's a noun. What is it? Okay. She is, it will not go like, there will be definite article, the remain. Do you understand? So once there is the, it's not telling me that that remains is now what and now. Okay. Please, further questions? Any other question? Okay. In absence of none, we say goodbye, Charlie boy. My next class, uh, I will try to differentiate noun phrase from noun clause and equally show the difference or the differences in adjectival clause. Okay. Any other question? Helping is, is a helping. Has is a helping. She has been eating. Has been eating. Being is helping. Are we there? He, um, he has gone to the market. The main verb there is what? Gone. Has helped gone to stand. Subject, when it came before the underline. Object, when, it, when the verb comes before. Yeah. All right. Okay, please, we say goodbye, Charlie Boy.